Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a number puzzle. It says that Goddess Saraswati had a devotee who was very good at math. One day she asked him to solve a mathematical puzzle. Root of HC plus F is equal to root of HCF. In this, each letter represented a distinct digit. And the number HCF has to be read as a three-digit number. So let's say if it is 256, just taking an example. So H is 2, C is 5, and F is 6, and it will be under root 16. So like this, you have to read the number. Okay. Now it is given that to her surprise, he answered the question within a minute, and then she gave him another puzzle. So we have to solve both these in order to answer the questions. Now, how to approach this question is, first, you must know about numbers and their squares. This is a three-digit number. And this is a two-digit number. So when we have a number which is of one digit, its square will be of either one digit or two digits. Let us say if you take a square of 1, that is 1, and square of 9, if you take it is 81, or any number in between. If there is a two-digit number, then its square is of three digits, like in case of 100. Or if you take uh, a two-digit number, its square can also be like 1600, or four-digit number. If you have a three-digit number, the square takes five digits or six digits and so on okay so this concept we need to keep in mind now we have a three digit square number here and we have a two digit number here square number here so its square root will have two digits so its under root hcf will have two digits and this will have one digit now one digit plus one digit which is f gives you a two digit number now, when we are adding two single digits and we are getting a double digit, so the two digit number has to be less than 20. So if you even if you add 9 and 9, you get 18, right? You get less than 20. So this means under root of HCF is going to be less than 20. Okay. So you can say HCF is going to be less than 400. Right. Now what we will do is we will use the possible digits for h now h can be one because it's a three digit number so it can start with 100 it can be two it can be three okay now we need to keep in mind that if h is a square hcf is a square number hc should also be a square number so if we take c accordingly we get six in this, we will get C as 5, and in this case, we get C as 6, okay? So, uh, now we will find the value of F correspondingly. Like, we have 169 as a square, we have 256 as a square, we have 361 as a square, okay? 169, 256, and 361. Now, what we will do? We will try to put and see what happens. Like if we put first case 1, 6, 16 plus 9 is equal to root 1, 6, 9. 4 plus 9 is 13, which fits. So this is our solution. Let us just check for the other two cases as well. 225 plus 6 is equal to root 256. So it gives us 5 plus 6 and 16 here, which is not equal. So this case is eliminated. Okay. And 361, if you see 36 plus 1 is equal to under root 361. This is 6 and 7. And this is 19, not matching. Okay. So this is the only solution. So H, C and F is 169. Now the second puzzle. In this case, we are given that under root MO plus O plus D is under root MOD. So we have uh, a three digit number here again. Now, if you see this, that uh, 
like we did for HCF, we said that HCF is less than 20. But in case of MOD, it is not necessarily that it is less than 20. So if we have three digit numbers, like MO is will be a three digit number, uh, sorry, three one digit numbers. So one digit number, one digit, one number, one digit number. So we might have a possibility like it is, like we are taking the extreme case. So it is possible that under root MOD might be greater than 20 also. Okay, might be, not necessary. So we will consider, but it will definitely be less than 30. So like we did in case of HCF, we said that it is less than 20. In this case of MOD, we will assume that it is less than 30. We will take that it is less than 30 and consider all the cases because we might get something which is greater than 20. So MOD is going to be less than 900. Okay. So this gives the possible values of M. So M could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Now, for 1, 2, 3, we get the same results. 1, 6, 9. So before testing that, we will test the other numbers also. You can test only these numbers also, but uh, let us check the others also. Now, if you take M as 4, M O is a perfect square. So it should be 4, 9. But there is no square ending in like starting with 4, 9. You do not have a square number. You have 500 as a square number. You have 484 as a square number. 4, 9, no square exists. Okay. Now, two digit square with 5 does not exist. So we cannot have M O as a root number. So this does not exist. If we take 6, 4, 64, uh, is there any square? So uh, 25. 25 square is 625 and 26 square is 676. So we do not have any square starting with 6 and 4. So this also gets eliminated. We do not have any square number starting with 7. Okay. Uh, two digit square number starting with 7. If we take 8, then it will be 81. Again, let us consider a square like 28 square is 784. 29 square is 841. So we do not have any square numbers starting with 8 and 1. So although we, we did consider this to be sure that the number uh, has to be uh, less than 30, these all these cases get eliminated. So we come back to only these three numbers. Now first cannot be the answer because in this case it was just one digit added. Here we have to add two digits. So definitely it cannot be the answer. No need to check for that. Now let's talk about 256. 256 if we talk about, we have 5 plus O, O is 5 plus 6 and under root 256 is 16. M O is 25 and this is 16 which fits. So this becomes our answer. So just for your satisfaction, you can check 361 also. 36 is 6 and then we have 6 and 1 is 1 and this is 19 which is not equal. Okay, so this is the solution. So MOD is 256. So HCF is 169 and MOD 256. So now we can answer the questions. The value of H is 1. Value, value of O is 5. Mod minus HCF is 16 minus 13, which is 3. Which two letters represent the same digit? So we have 6 as a digit, which is being repeated. And C and D represent the same digit. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.